Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize the concentric circle chart. So let's get started in our project panel. Let's go to folder number two, labeled concentric circle chart, and let's double click on the concentric circle chart composition to open that up. And the first thing we want to do is look at our pie chart controls layer, and we want to open up the effects controls, and we want to open up the effects controls panel because this is where we can change the color, set the data, and even change the line thickness of the circles and change the colors for the symbols and the text. So to quickly go over the chart controls, um, our first controller is a color picker and we can change the colors of the numbers, the percent symbol, and uh, the text areas that go with each line. For the line thickness, you can use a slider to make the lines in here a little bit bigger if you wanted to. And we have our slider controls um, that control the data for each circle, um, but you will enter that data in the pie chart controls layer. So let's go back to the timeline and let's hit U on our keyboard. And this will bring up our keyframes that animate each circle. So to enter your data, you want to double click on the keyframe that is directly below um, the corresponding layer marker. So let's zoom in on this timeline a little bit. We can take a look where it says enter data 01. There's a keyframe uh, somewhere underneath it and you can use this slider control to change the value or you can just click on that text and type in your value and you can move forward to data number two and then three and four. There we go and we move our current time indicator further into uh, further down the timeline we can see the completed circle and there we go and if we go back to our effects control panel we can change the colors for the circle uh, number one all the way through number four and you'll just twirl those down and use the color picker to change the colors and you get the idea and then our last control changes the size of the number and the text corresponding to each line. So if you needed that to be a little bit bigger, you can use that slider control to change that as well. To change any of the text layers, we can go into our timeline and select um, the text layer. You'll see this T next to uh, the layer number, and that indicates that this is a text layer. And if you double click on that, um, if you look in our composition viewer, the text becomes highlighted, which means it is now editable. And you can type in your text. And you can repeat that for each text layer in your chart. And to change our main text area, you can again double click in the timeline, or you can even double click your layer um, in the composition viewer, and it becomes editable again. And then to make that bigger, you want to go to the character panel and change the size of our text in this panel. There we go. And you can even move that layer if you wanted to. And if we play this back, you'll see that our data has been updated and we're good to go.